Hello, here I have two drones of the leading manufacturer of DJI. This is Richard Rich. This is the new Mini 2 and this is the original DJI Mavic Mini. What are the differences? What should make you buy one the newer over the other? Or what should make you upgrade from the older to the newer? Keep watching. All right, I was genuinely unable to distinguish between the two models in the video opener. So that's why I've put the remote controllers behind each of the drones. This is the Mini 2, the newest DJI drone that was released just a couple of days ago. This is the original DJI Mavic Mini, which was released about a an year and a bit more ago. Five key differences between the two drones that should make you prefer the newer over the older or make you upgrade from the older to the newer. The first one is the technology. The original DJI Mini flies with Wi-Fi. This one, the newer Mini 2, flies with OcuSync 2.0. What does it mean? This one would be more stable and will give you bigger range in a more crowded area, more crowded Wi-Fi zone. Because the original Mini flies with Wi-Fi connection, that one flies with a completely different connection between the drone and the remote. So Wi-Fi networks do not interfere with your connection as they do here with the other model. Number two is the camera. Of course, that's a very strong one. Mini 2 has a 4K camera, 4K resolution, and also much improved video bitrate up to 100 megabits per second compared to 40 megabits per second on the original DJI Mavic Mini. On top of that, Mini 2 takes photos in RAW format which was something that the original Mini cannot do and which is something really useful for photographers and no other photo enthusiasts. Let, okay, let's give one difference in the remote controller here. You see it's bigger, heavier, more bulkier on the new Mini 2 compared to the original DJI Mavic Mini remote. It is the same as the remote controller of DJI Mavic Air 2, the previous drone that DJI released. The key difference here is that now you can put your phone, you should, you must put your phone, you don't have any other choice, on top of the remote controller right here which is really handy and the other thing is that the cable connection comes really nicely that way this solves the issue with that remote where you put your phone at the bottom there is that cable that's not really handy to put in the phone and then put back in the stand like this now on the newer remote the antennas are included inside the remote control so you shouldn't think where they sh how they should be positioned where they should point and so on the sticks are a bit sharp a bit metallic here at the top i don't know why is that it's not really comfortable for me um, the more rubber ones that we see on the original mavic mini were nicer to the finger but that's the design of this thing advantage number four speed and wind resistance here, with the new Mini 2, you get flight speed of up to 60 meters per second in sport mode, 10 meters per second in the normal mode and 6 meters per second in the cinematic mode. Back to the original Mavic Mini, you get 13 meters per second in the sport mode. So you get 3 meters per second higher speed with the newer one. Wind resistance, the old one has wind resistance scale 4, Mini 2 has wind resistance scale 5. What does it mean? With this one, you get wind resistance of winds up to a speed of 10.5 meters per second. This one goes up to 8 meters per second in terms of wind speed resistance. DJI Mini gives 1 minute extra flight time, which is quite nice because you get higher speed as well. It has improved, more efficient motors that will give you longer flight. With, with the battery and uh, the things the accessories that you may have with the original Mavic Mini are compatible with the Mini 2 the batteries from the original Mavic Mini are compatible with the Mini 2 the other way around though if you have more batteries for Mini 2 you cannot use them on the original Mini so the compatibility is only one way from the older to the newer in terms of the app you get two new opportunities for Mini 2. First one is that you can download your photos directly with a connection between your phone and the drone without putting the remote control in the game. It makes the process faster and uh, more handy. And the other thing is that when you want to download a video from your drone 
you can select a specific scene from the video that you want to cut to trim and download only that one this way you save time you save space and uh, you just get what you need that's it guys for the new dji mini 2 drone in conclusion i recommend subscribing to dji care that would give you a spare drone in case you break this one for a small fee the user manual that's for sure user manual would give answers to most if not all of your questions of the questions you may have and you will also see um, all the specifications of the drone all the features it has and you will feel safer and more confident when flying what's better than that thanks for watching if you think that video was useful for you please please like it and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos i will upload thanks again bye bye